wanted to be with the Father. Amen? Did he not? Hey, I want you to know you're superhuman in here this morning. Stand up and clap for a minute. Yeah, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Rejoice. You are superhuman. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're not alone anymore. You don't have to fight in the flesh anymore. You fight in the spiritual realm. You're going to take charge in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now here's another good one. You might like this one better. I don't know. I like superhuman. I just thought that was a good replacement. It's mean, same meaning. Glory to God. Same meaning of the word power. And that Greek word, if you want to write that down, it's exousia. But here's another good meaning to write in there. Token of control. <laughs> Token of control. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I gave you the keys. And when I gave you the keys right now, Amen. like I did a while ago, now I'm taking them back. Now I'll fight you for them. <laughs> yeah. I ain't kidding you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Them's my keys. Are they? Yes. <laughs> but when Jesus gave you those keys to the kingdom, Amen. it's a token of control, isn't it? it is. He can go drive my truck right now. Yeah. How dare you Amen. don't give me my keys back, man. Hey. I just give him a token of control, didn't I? Yes, he can drive my car. He can get in my house. He can get into this church. Amen. Come on. That's a token of control. Amen. <laughs> Jesus gave me a token of control. Don't you like that? Amen. I love that. He gave me a token of control. When the enemy came upon my wife to try to stricken her with cancer, hey, wait a minute. God gave me a token of control. Yeah. Hallelujah. He gave me a token of control to take charge over that filthy thing and kill it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, we got to get this in our spirit, church. We got to get this in our spirit. I wish I was your age again and know what I know now. I wish I was, I wish I was your age again and know what I know now and know the word of God that I know now. Amen. I'll tell you what. Whew, glory to God. You guys got it made. You know that? You got it made that you're sitting in the house of God right now. Hearing the word of God. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Glory to God. Your faith is being built right now. Do you know that? Everyone, your faith is being built right now because you're hearing the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. Don't you like that? Amen. I love it. Hallelujah. And every one of us have the privilege, the capacity, the freedom, the superhuman, the token of control. When we've accepted Jesus, when we repented of our sins, when we've asked Jesus to forgive us and come into our lives. We've been given all those privileges, that token of control. Amen. We've been given that. Amen. We've been given that. But until we do, we're fighting a losing battle. Amen. You know, David cried out to God. And he said, God, blot out my sins in the archives of heaven. Blot out my sins in the archives of heaven. I don't want a library of my sins being built Amen. in heaven. Do you? No. I want my name written in the Lamb's book of life. I want my name in the Lamb's book of life. Not in the archives of heaven as sin. See, David cried out to God. He had sinned against God and he knew it. Psalm 51. Hey, he knew it. He knew he had to repent. And when he repented, he said, God, would you please, and I'm paraphrasing, blot out my sins in the archives of heaven. My transgressions. God forgave him too. Glory to God. And that's all we got to do is just ask Jesus to forgive us. 
Blot out my sins, Lord, in the archives of heaven, that my name might be written in the Lamb's book of life. And Lord, I want to take it a step further. I don't want just my name written in the Lamb's book of life. I'm not going to live here in hell while on my way to heaven. I want your blessings on my life. I want to walk in total victory and freedom. Glory to God. I want to be superhuman and carry out your plan and purpose on this earth. Hallelujah. God has a plan for each and every one of us. In Jeremiah 29, 11, he says, I have plans for you, saith the Lord. Plans to prosper you and give you a hope and a future and not to harm you. That's what I want in my life. I want the real meal deal. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. I can't stand it when I go to Wendy's and I order a meal deal a double with cheese and they hand it out the window and they forgot my fries. Hey! When I serve, chose to serve the Lord, I decided I want the whole thing, Lord. I'm not just going to try this. I'm going to make it a lifestyle. I'm going to make it a way of life with me. Hallelujah! And I choose, Lord, to be superhuman. I choose Jesus to carry out greater things than you did. Hallelujah. And that's not doing it, saying it arrogantly either. I'm saying it in humble humility and obedience to what Jesus said you will do. I'm a you. Did you know that? Hey, you're a you. Hallelujah. You shall do greater things than I did, Jesus said. Greater things than this you will do because I'm going to be with the Father. Amen. Hallelujah. And so here he promises us in his word. He said that, that, hey, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And guess what? I'm giving you the keys to the kingdom. Hallelujah. And the kingdom of God is righteousness. Hey, he just gave me righteousness, didn't he? Hey, the kingdom of God is wealth. Glory to God. He just gave me wealth, didn't he? Hey, the kingdom of God is healing. Glory to God. He just gave me healing, didn't he? Hey, I got keys to healing. Did you know that? Hey, and they're not in the natural steel form here either. But I got keys, glory to God, to the kingdom. I got keys of healing. Hallelujah. I've got keys of deliverance. Hallelujah. I've got keys, superhuman ability to lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. Glory to God. I've got superhuman ability to lay hands on those that need demons cast out and then demons have to leave. Glory to God. Because he's given me superhuman ability. He gave me keys, glory to God. It's nice to have keys because keys is authority, isn't it? Hallelujah. You guys sitting here on the back row, I don't walk back this far much, but I'm going to walk back this morning. I want you to know there, Jordan, that God gave you the keys. Troy, hey, I want you to know something, that God's given you some keys. Keys to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. That kingdom too holds everything you'll ever need in life. That kingdom has all the wisdom you're ever going to need in life. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Brent and Naomi, you got some keys. Hallelujah. Isn't that awesome? You are superhuman. Hallelujah. All we got to do is realize in our mind now and take it right to our heart. Because the Bible says as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Vince, God has given you superhuman ability. Superhuman ability. We've really got to get a hold of that. See, we can think it in our mind our whole life and be of no effect. It's got to go from the mind 18 inches down to the heart. And then when it becomes a heart thing, it's going to become a way of life with you. And then once it becomes a way of life with you, the Holy Spirit's going to work through you and out of you. And you're going to be superhuman. Yes! Glory to God! Hallelujah! We are superhuman!